Oh, there's renewed interest in Baltic in Indonesia after UNESCO put Baltic on its list of intangible cultural heritage. While it is indigenous to Indonesia, the traditional dyed fabric has also been influenced by the Chinese people who came to the island 500 years ago. Sujadi Sizo takes a closer look at an Indonesian cultural icon. Batik is constantly on the mind of Dr. Indra Chahyani. The heritage landscape expert is among the growing number of Indonesians known as batik lovers or hunters. The love for batik has brought Dr. Chahyani deep into Java's rural heartland to collect and learn about the centuries-old fabric that uses wax-resistant dyeing techniques. Uh, every places in Nusantara at the time already have their own motif, but uh, mostly the motive came from what they see in their daily life. Like if they are uh, fishermen, of course, uh, in the batik pattern, there's a fish or um, brown or maybe a ship, something like that. But that changed with the arrival of the Chinese around the 16th century. When they came here, they bring their ceramic uh, or their uh, silk, what they call it blue silk and in that in that um, ceramic and silk there's some pattern these patterns were captured on batik fabrics the choice of bright colors too came from the chinese who were mostly present in the north coastal areas of java ya ini sebenarnya kemulai dari mulai jawa timur yaitu ada surabaya ya tuban kemudian lasem kemudian ada cerbon indramayu ada pekalongan sampai ke Jakarta, waktu itu Batavia. The Textile Museum in Jakarta has stepped up efforts to preserve traditional batik designs. Exhibitions are held regularly, highlighting vanishing batik artwork produced in the villages with centuries-old external influence such as from the Chinese. Pengaruh-pengaruh itu membuat sesuatu itu menjadi lebih indah. ya. The batik bug has suddenly bitten Indonesians, with some even disregarding traditions. Actually, the white and blue is uh, in the Chinese culture. Actually, it's for the what when they go to the funeral. People uh, didn't put any attention about that. They just love it, wearing the blue and white, and then using the the white kebaya. That's that's real nice. But red is the choice during the Lunar New Year, and stores like Batik Chris traditionally produce designs that befit the occasion. Batik in so many ways reflects Indonesia's rich and diverse culture. And today, what better way to celebrate the Lunar New Year in Indonesia than to don batik in auspicious red. I'm Sujadi Siswo. Selamat Tahun Baru Imlek.